That was Luke Schrego with today's Focus report. If I could uh, come back to you, Mr Kuyum Dian, uh, we heard there about how uh, the Armenian community in France is really making big efforts to keep the, uh, the Armenian culture and history alive. Is that something we're seeing across the Armenian diaspora? I mean, it's estimated to be almost three times the population of Armenia itself. Uh, big efforts to keep the, the history uh, of Armenia alive. The answer to your question is double. The first is that it's a continuation of what has been a centuries-old tradition of education and culture. Uh, Turkish historians, um, non-Armenian who have evaluated the 19th, late 18th and 19th century educational system in Turkey have said unanimously that only the Armenians had a series of national schools where education, not just Armenian education, was provided. And the state or non-state Turkish schools were lagging extremely far behind. So in a sense, they were doing what they knew to do and that they wanted to do. The reference to going to the Armenian church, whether you believed or not, <clears throat> that was given in that clip, uh, it can be applied also to the question of culture, schooling, and language. On the other hand, <clears throat> it would be foolish and perhaps naive to suggest that in terms of keeping the language alive in the diaspora, uh, we are winning. We are not winning, we are losing. And uh, in that respect, Armenians are no different <coughs> than most other people in terms of language loss, not cultural loss, but language loss in the diaspora. In France itself, for instance, uh, we will see that um, the immigration from the Maghreb or other places um, it also represents a language loss, but hardly a cultural loss, as we're all aware. On the other hand, the Armenians who have always been able to adapt themselves to whatever situation they were in or are in, and they've had an experience of centuries of doing that, know quite well. It's almost, I would think, biological or in the ADN of the Armenians to figure out how it is that they will get along and get along well. In systems like those surrounding Armenia since the uh, 7th century, when the Arabs conquered the area, even Armenia for a couple of centuries until Armenia freed itself. But during that time, this has been a dramatic challenge. For instance, of the peoples uh, conquered, uh, Christian peoples conquered to the north by the Arab Caliphate in the 7th, 8th, 9th century, by the 10th or 11th, many of them, including, for instance, the Copts in Egypt, uh, much of the Syriacs and Syrians in, in Asia Minor uh, gradually um, lost their language and substituted for it uh, Arabic as the language. But in Armenia, that did not happen. Mm -hmm. And the language, including its own alphabet, uh, continued as an identity mark until today. One hopes that in the diaspora that will continue, but the effort is really dramatic and uh, not, a, uh, not a game that can be won easily. Exactly, an uphill battle there. Uh, uh, Mr. Lelequan, we were hearing the uh, Armenians, they're, they're f losing the fight to protect the language, losing the fight also, as we heard in that clip, for this official recognition of the genocide. We also heard earlier, of course, Barack Obama uh, rolling back the language there. Uh, certainly, why is Armenia losing this fight on the international stage for this official recognition of genocide? I'm not sure that Armenians, globally speaking, and Armenia are, are losing this, uh, this fight. You know, uh, 50 years ago, 
nobody was talking about an Armenian genocide, mm. despite the fact that when Lemkin, Lemkin Raphael Lemkin, uh, coined this word, he, he was specifically uh, referring to the Armenian case before the Jewish case. Mm -hmm. he, he was present as this uh, trial of uh, Sohomon Telerian, who, who assassinated one of the responsible of the genocide, and was struck struck by the fact that um, uh, a guy, uh, so Sohomon Telerian, who killed one person, was, was uh, uh, rightfully, uh, ter uh, you know, considered as a, as a killer, mm -hmm. and the, the other, the victim. Uh, that killed uh, one million and a half people was considered was not considered considered as such. So uh, you know, uh, we, we from a legal perspective, maybe we uh, we failed up to now to set up the genocide term at the at the le required level in the United but Nations. Are, but things are beginning but, to change. But in terms of, of awareness of education. Uh, we, 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 we succeed, okay. in, my, in my view. I will have to leave it there. We've run out of time.